How to rebuild Dynaflow single head and dual head vacuum pumps, DV1 models. Woods Power Grip stock number 66134 and 66136, also shown as 93220 and 93221 in some instructions. Getting started. In order to rebuild either of these vacuum pumps, you will need the flap valve gasket, Woods Power Grip stock number 66197BM, and the diaphragm kit, Woods Power Grip stock number 66197AM. The gasket kit is a single piece of orange rubber with integrated flap valves. The diaphragm kit comes with an O-ring, a flat washer, a diaphragm, and a retaining screw. All of these parts are required for each pump head, so two of each stock number are required for the dual head pump. As for tools, you will need a number one Phillips screwdriver and a number two Phillips screwdriver. In most cases, the single head pump can be rebuilt without removing it from the mounting location. In order to access the bottom head of the dual head pump, you will need to remove the pump from the mounting location. Otherwise, the parts and the process are the same for rebuilding both kinds of pumps. Disconnect any hoses that are attached to the pump, noting their original locations for correct reassembly. Also note the orientation of the pump head and the attached fittings for correct reassembly. Remove the four screws that secure the pump head using the number two Phillips screwdriver. Be sure to save the lock washers for reassembly. Lift the pump head off the vacuum pump. This exposes the diaphragm and the valve plate located inside the pump head. Replacing the diaphragm. Note that the diaphragm has a rounded surface that must face up when installed. Remove the retaining screw from the center of the diaphragm using the number two Phillips screwdriver. Remove the old diaphragm from the connecting rod. The flat washer and the O-ring located beneath the diaphragm will also be replaced. Carefully place the new flat washer and O-ring on the end of the connecting rod. Insert the point of the screwdriver through the center hole of the diaphragm, making sure that the rounded surface faces up. Then use the screwdriver to align the washer, O-ring, and connecting rod as you press the diaphragm down against these parts to hold them in place. Install the new retaining screw to secure the diaphragm to the connecting rod. Replacing the flap valve gasket. Using the number one Phillips screwdriver, remove the two retaining screws from the valve plate located on the bottom of the pump head. Remove the old flap valve gasket. The bottom of the valve plate has a recess to position the flap valve gasket as well as a pin to align the plate and the head correctly. Hold the valve plate with the recess facing up and place the new flap valve gasket in the recess. Place the pump head on the valve plate using the alignment pin to assemble them correctly. As you hold the head assembly together, turn it over and secure the valve plate with the original two screws. Reinstall the head assembly in its original orientation and secure it using the original four screws and lock washers.
cut a small portion off the end of each hose to remove any damaged or distorted section. Then reattach the hoses in their original locations. Your pump is now ready to be tested and returned to service.